Hi everyone, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. Today we're going to be taking apart the Savage Model 62F, the little 22 semi-auto, and uh, going to give it a good cleaning, and I'll show you how this thing comes apart. You're going to need a couple tools, probably a couple of Allen wrenches, a uh, 532, and depending on when yours was made, you may need either a screwdriver or a quarter inch Allen wrench also. Let's get this thing taken apart, see how it works, and get it cleaned up. All right, the first thing you want to do is get yourself a good mat to work on, a good, nice, good, solid surface to work on. Get you a good cleaning mat. Uh, this one was sent to me by Techmatic Gun Accessories, and uh, they're not paying me to say anything about this. They just sent it to me to review, so I like it. I do like this. I do like that it's clear. There's nothing printed on it. It makes it easier to see if you set the small pieces down on there. It's a smooth top, so you don't get little springs and stuff hung up on them. So kind of like the, uh, there's some felt ones out there with a the rubber backing on them I don't care for too much. Um, this is a neoprene backed, uh, I believe it's nylon on the top, it's dye sublimation printing on it so you don't have to worry about your design coming off. If you've got one of the ones that has a, an exploded view of a uh, firearm on it, you don't have to worry about any of that fading away or anything. It's chemical and solvent resistant too and it's a good surface to work on, things don't slide around on you. Alright, let's get this gun taken apart. First thing you want to do is take a 532nd Allen wrench, at least on this one that's what size it is. Go ahead and get these screws broke loose and get them taken out. Now these screws are captive in this plate right here. They uh, will not stay in the stock, but uh, you don't have to worry too much about losing them because they should stay in that plate right there. Now once you've got those out, set that off to the side. Go ahead and separate the action from the stock. Everything's going to come out in one piece. Set your stock off to the side. Now this one, it may be a little bit different on your rifle depending on when it was made, um, but there are three mounting lugs right here and all three of these have uh, quarter inch Allen screws in them. Go ahead and get those broke loose. And then there is one Phillips screw right behind the magwell on here. Now the first thing you want to do also is I've got the action open. We're going to go ahead and pull that back, hang on to it, and go ahead and pull the trigger. Make sure it's uh, the hammer's released. All right, get this front lug taken out of there. Set that off to the side. You'll know which one's which because that one has a lot larger uh, thread post on it. The second one back there, these are the ones that hold it, the action to the stock. It also holds the magwell to the action. This one has a lot smaller stud on it and you'll want to go ahead and get that Phillips screw taken out too. Now that has a lock washer with it. Go ahead and take your magwell out. Set it off to the side. Go ahead and take that rear lug off of there. That holds your trigger assembly in onto the action. That one also has a lock washer on it and it's a larger stud too. Get that set off to the side. Go ahead and pull your trigger assembly out. Take this barrel clamp off of here. It should slide right on out. And that's what holds your barrel onto the action. Once you've got that out, your barrel should pull right out of there. There's your ejector right there on the side of the barrel. It's milled into there. There is a little spring behind it, so be careful with that. Set your barrel off to the side. Pull your charging handle forward. Pull it right out. And that holds both your bolt into the action and holds your firing pin into the bolt. Everything's going to slide right out of there. Here's your firing pin right there. It's set down into that milled groove in the top there. Set that off to the side. There's your hammer assembly on here. It's uh, pulled back. The sear holds it in place and it lets go and it slams the firing pin forward which sets off the round. There's your extractor right there. A little spring in there. You shouldn't have to take that one out but now you've got easy access to everything that every component on here that needs to be cleaned. You've got your barrel, you've got easy access to the barrel, you can go ahead and clean that out. You can clean the inside of the receiver out in there. Now it's a little oily in there, it's going to be dirty. You can see right there there's a, a lot of dirt, a lot of uh, carbon left over from the 22 rounds. But you've got easy access to clean it all up. You can uh, clean in here a little bit, lube it up and everything and get it ready to um, be put back together and ready to fire again.
reassembly is going to be just the opposite of what you did to take it apart. Get all your pieces wiped down, cleaned up and everything. You can go ahead and push it all right back together. We're going to go ahead and take our receiver once it's all cleaned up and everything. And we're going to take our bolt. Now I like to use this frog lube. It's some pretty good stuff here. It's a cleaner lubricant and protectant. Take a little bit of that with your finger. Just kind of hit it on the bolt a little bit. Just a thin film on there is all you really need on it. That keeps everything lubed up pretty good. The nice thing about this is it doesn't come oozing out of uh, every little uh, opening on your firearm for weeks to come. So just a thin film of that on there is all you need. Take your firing pin. Now it goes in there just like that. Slide it in that groove there. And what that does is when your round is in there, it pushes it back just a little bit. Then your hammer comes forward and smacks that and pushes it into the round, setting the round off. We'll take that, slide it back in there. You want your charging handle hole to line up with your ejection port there. Now you can take your pin, charging handle there, put it back in there. Now there's a spot that it's got to go in. It's got to fit in that groove just right. Then you can pull it back and lock it in the little recessed area there. Now be careful if you bump that it can come flying out of the end of it there. Go ahead and put everything back on there just like it came off. Put that, put your trigger assembly back in there. Now your bolt goes in the back there, your lug. Let's go ahead and get everything started in there. Don't uh, clamp down on anything yet because you may need to move things around just a little bit. Uh, your mag well goes back in there. There's a little lug that goes in the front there. It's kind of your feed ramp part. goes right down in there and that notch goes in the trigger housing. Take your Phillips screw. Again, just get everything kind of snugged in there a little bit. Don't tighten anything down yet. Your other lug, get it started in there, and then your front lug has to go on once your barrel goes in there. Now your extractor there is going to have to line up with a slot in the face of the bolt there. So make sure you got it turned the right way. I've got everything upside down right now. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but there is a slot that it goes into. And we're going to make sure that goes in there. Everything should slide together pretty easy. Little wiggle so as you get it pushed in there. There we go. And you got to get that notch lined up for your barrel clamp. There's your barrel clamp. You can slide it right in there. You'll have to slide it in the side. There's a little spring there for your mag well that uh, is kind of in the way to prevent you from pushing it straight in there. Go ahead and take your front mounting lug. Get that started in there. And once you've got everything in, make sure they're down in the grooves there. Get everything kind of finger tight. Then you can take your Allen wrench, snug it all back down. And be careful not to over tighten anything. <clears throat> and you've got the one Phillips screw that needs to be snug down too. All right, once you've got everything back together there, go ahead and function check it. You can function check it with it without it being in the stock. Make sure everything moves freely. Now it's a rim fire. You shouldn't dry fire it too many times. You can put a snap cap or something in there if you want, uh, just to prevent any damage to the firing pin. But if you do it once or twice, you know, just to function check it after you've cleaned it, you're probably going to be all right. Make sure you wipe down any excess oil you may have on there. Uh, a little bit will stay on there to protect the surfaces and everything, but you don't want to get too much on there because it attracts dust. The dust will stick to it and you don't want dust in there. And that's not a good thing. Dust can be a little abrasive. Uh, go ahead and clean up all your stuff and then you're ready to go ahead and put your stock back onto your action. And putting it back in there, there's only one way it goes in. Your trigger goes right through there. And go ahead and put your two screws back in there. They'll be attached to that mounting plate. Your 532nd Allen wrench. 
get them started in there. Function check everything again once you've got it back in there. Make sure your magazine is cleaned up. There's a little bit of uh, carbon residue that builds up in there. Give it a good wiping. Then pop it back in there. Make sure it fits. Make sure it releases. And you're good to go. Alright guys, thanks for taking a look at the Model 62F uh, disassembly and cleaning procedure with me. It's not the uh, easiest gun to maintain, but it's uh, the, probably one of the easiest guns there is to shoot. Um, it's a good quality firearm, a little bit of a pain to disassemble and everything, but uh, it's, it's not a bad gun. And for 99 bucks, it's uh, really a good deal. Um, and if you get a chance, get on over to TechMat's website. I'll put a link in the description. You can check out some of the products they've got. They have uh, not only the gun cleaning mats, but they have gun cleaning kits too. And um, there's a bunch of different designs. Go ahead and check them out. See which one you want. Order a couple of them. And uh, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review.